Hi everyone, you all right? Um, it's nice to be here tonight and it's uh, thrilling that you've kind of embraced this hope thing. Hope is uh, a massive, out of control, viral mission that's taking place all over the UK. Me and a couple of mates in uh, 2004 had this little idea, we've been doing some big city missions like Message 2000 and Soul in the City and any one of Merseyfest. Anyone involved in any of those? <laughs> yes, a few of you were. And uh, in 2004 we were wondering what was going to be next. People in Birmingham wanted us to do a big mission there um, and other towns and cities were interested in this kind of new model of mobilising new people into mission. By the time we finished that little cup of coffee we had at the end of uh, 2004, we decided we weren't going to go for Birmingham or any other town and village, we were, we were going for the whole nation. Uh, now even I'm not daft enough to think that, uh, you know, three youth organisations, because that was the message trust, Soul Survivor and Youth for Christ could do that. But we had a little sense that we knew people who could, you know, we, if we could just see the whole church mobilised and all the different streams and denominations and conferences and organisations. So we spent a year trucking around meeting anybody and everybody. We met, you know, the Archbishop of Canterbury and the guy who went to the Baptist Church, the people who went up the Boys and Girls Brigade, anybody and everybody. And said, how about it? And it's been amazing. We set ourselves kind of the audacious goal that we'd see 500 different regions engaged with hope. You know, villages and towns and cities. And today, there are 1,400 regions yeah. doing hope. We haven't got enough, we haven't got the whole nation covered, but if you brought it together, everything that's happening under the whole banner this year, it is absolutely humongous, and it's dead exciting. Fantastic. You mentioned all the denominations, boys go, girls go, etc. Young people specifically, why are they so fundamental to that vision? Yeah, I mean, hope is the first time we've done anything that's for the whole church. You know, we're normally focused on youth, but we've said youth will take a lead. And uh, the reason that for that is every time, all over the world and all throughout history, God's going to do something big, he always makes sure that young people are at the forefront of it. You just look what's happened down history, it's always been youth. You know, right the way down all the great revivals, even now all over the world, where God is moving in the most wacky ways, it always seems to be youth that are taking the lead. If there's someone out there sat there thinking, yeah, that sounds great, but I'm one person, or I'm just me and my two friends, what can I do? How much difference can those people make? Well, you know, uh, the world's always been changed by individuals doing a bit, doing a bit more than they do at the moment. That's how it's always happened. So you really can make a difference. And if, if you're not involved in the hope yet, there's still loads of time. I mean, we're not actually clocking off on December the 31st anyway, and saying, you know, that's the end of mission. Uh, we're just going to let this year be a catalyst. But if your company isn't involved in hope, give your leader a good slap, would you? And say to them, come on, we can do more. We can work together. And we can do it in words and actions. We want to be a subversive movement for Jesus. Spur one another on to love the friends, love the communities, love the world in Jesus' name. On the Hope Revolution website, you'll just find every day new stuff that will encourage you and help you to do great things throughout this year of hope.